Okay. Hi, everybody. Welcome to the post-game press conference from the <coughs> men's championship game of the 2021 Summer League Basketball Championships. We're joined first by the representatives from North Dakota State. That includes head coach Dave Richmond, players Rocky Cruiser, and Tyree Eady. Um, the uh, game that just concluded, Oral Roberts um, held on for a 75-72 victory. Um, reminder to the media, please type your questions in the chat function within Zoom. Um, let me know who your question is for and what your organization is, and I will read them on your behalf. We'll get as many questions in as we can in the 10-minute window. Um, thank you to the players and coach for being here. Um, coach Richmond, if you give us an opening statement, please. Yeah, thanks, Terry. Um, you know, obviously give Paul and his group a, a bunch of credit. You know, we've been fortunate to be there the last couple of years, and it's a special moment for them. And and um, you know, they they came out of the gates, you know, terrific, and and like you'd expect the talented team. But um, you know, what you saw in the second half is what I've seen. Um, you know, for the entirety of this season, just a group that refuses to quit. Um, I'm surrounded again here tonight and, and missing one, but I, I know I, I've talked about it all the time lately is what these two guys and Sam have given us, they've given me and given this program, it's immeasurable, absolutely immeasurable. And, and uh, you can see the pain and, and our tone and um, on our faces. Because when you sacrifice what we did, you put into what we did in a year that was wasn't a whole bunch expected of this group. Lost a lot, a bunch of inexperience, but that never, that never was an internal conversation. Um, coaching is a very challenging profession for a lot of reasons, but when you're around a group like I've been fortunate to be around for the last four or five months, it's, it's extremely rewarding. And it's hard to figure it out now, but somewhere down the road, we're going to be better for this. Thank you, Coach. Um, We'll open up for questions for uh, players and coach. First one is from Todd Buckingham with the Reaching the Summit podcast, and this is for you, coach. What was the message to the team at halftime, or what was the adjustment? Where did, where did that uh, sort of total reversal come from? Well, we just we just talked about four minutes at a time, you know, chip, chipping away, and you know, our guys' credit, they just bought in, and um, I mean, we we left, we emptied the tank yesterday in in a terrific, hard fought battle and in, in, in comeback and. Um, I think that was a little bit part of the, the slow start and just dug deep, found a different way. This is, this is a group that's really tough. They're really connected and together. And when we weren't ready to go home, it was a refuse to lose attitude. And, um, and you, saw, you saw that for that last 20. Question for Rocky. Uh, Rocky had a new career high night with 34, and obviously you guys needed that. What was, what was working for you? What, what allowed you to, to get things going offensively? Um, you know, just the mentality of getting downhill, you know, um, weren't getting a lot of shots to fall, especially in the first half. So really just wanted to force the issue and get downhill, um, get to the foul line. Um, yeah. A question from John of hoopshd.com. This is for Rocky. Um, he said this is probably, your, again, a career high for you and maybe the toughest loss of your career at the same time. Um, does that factor into... Your, your future, looking forward, decisions you make about you know coming back or not. Um, as of right now, I'm just gonna you know let this one sting. Um, I've had conversations with coach about you know returning and, and plans for next year and, and what I'm gonna do there, but I'm gonna let this one sting for a little bit. Um, really focus on ourselves here and then um, converse with coach later on. Another one for you, Rocky, from Mike McFeely of the Fargo Forum. What, what do you feel like in general allowed you guys to get back into the game that we did? Um, our sense of urgency, um, our our will to win, like Coach said, our refuse to lose attitude. Um, you know, coming out of that second half, just the amount of energy, um, especially from our bench, um, was just outstanding. Um, you know, just that refuse to lose attitude. Media queue is open. Um, for Tyree, um, you guys had so much momentum down the stretch. It seemed like there was uh, what, just supreme confidence at, at that point. It, it just totally flipped. Um, like Rocky said, just not the will not to lose. Um, coming out there, being urgent, having that urgency, getting downhill, getting the free throw line, you know, pressure on defense. Um, just getting the energy up. Um, we didn't want to go home. This one's going to stay for a long time, but you got to just take it on the chin and, you know, get better from it. Another question for Tyree from, from Todd Buckingham. Um, did you feel that your defense on, on Max was, was pretty good tonight, or are there, there are things that um, you feel like you maybe could have done differently? 
I mean, obviously as a competitor, I think I could could have done better. But you know, he's a great player. Credit to him. Um, congratulations to him and RU. But you know, he's tough. With players like that, you got to contain them. You can't really stop them. But you know, we'll go back. We'll watch film. And we'll adjust and got to just learn from it. It's an experience. We have a young group, so we'll be back next year. Media queue is open. We've got a couple minutes left with North Dakota State if there are more questions. We've got another one from Mike McFeely also for Tyree. How did you guys keep finding kind of the energy and the will to just sort of keep chipping away and, and uh, keep keep that momentum, keep coming back? Yeah, I mean, we really, really did not want to lose. We didn't want to go home with this feeling we have right now. Um, everyone on the bench, the coaching staff, you know, the captains, everyone on the court, we all just had a sense of urgency about us. We should have for 40 minutes that we have for only 20 minutes. and. In the last 20 minutes, you saw what we could be. We were a really special group, but ultimately, it has to be if you play 40 minutes, you don't play 20 minutes, and that's what got us tonight. Coach, there's a pretty, pretty fine line between the, the feeling of winning this game, as you guys have done the last couple of years, and, and then losing it, and it comes down to a couple of points sometimes. Yeah, I don't know if it's a fine line, Terry. Yeah, to me, it's a, it's a crater. I mean, um, you're just short of dreams. You know, you're you're two points shy of what everybody does this for, and everybody in our group wanted. And um, you know, been on the court where ORU is the last two years, and now sitting here, it's. I mean, it's tough. It's really tough. Last call for questions from the Bison. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it. Thank Congratulations you, thank on you. a great tournament. For the media, we'll reset quickly here, and we will be joined um, by Oral Roberts uh, momentarily. Thanks, fellas. Thanks, Terry.